I would like to start with the mission statement. So it is, we help young people get a start in life they truly deserve. Clients that come to us to live with us, they come from a variety of backgrounds. And for one reason or another, they end up homeless. And when they come here, we give everyone a studio apartment, beautiful studio apartment. There's 12 of them in total. And while they're with us, we provide them with wraparound supports. Uh, we focus on education, employment, and, and general well-being. So when they move on, they're ready to take on life and uh, they can use what they have learned here to, to advance. There's 12 apartments and they're all self-contained apartments. And then we have a main house which is communal and where they can um, come freely and mix here. There is washing machine services that they can use themselves here. So in our role, building genuine relationships and rapport with the people we work with, with the young adults, is key. And it's based on trust and it's based on respect and just that accountability. Though we cherish the time we have with them here, we want to see them stand on their own two feet and to develop in relationships and professionally as well. This is a transitional housing model. So when they move in, they sign a license agreement for a year. Now this model that we use uh, aims to give people dignity because everybody gets their own address. So in a sense, it appears that they're not homeless. So they can go out, they can look for work, they can look for their own accommodation. What we have here is each resident is coupled with a what we call a key worker, which means they work with the person every week and our staff members help them in reaching their goals. I think that we provide a caring, non-judgmental environment which can really nurture the young people to realize their, their full potential, have goals and to you know see those goals come to fruition, whether it's to further education, to study, we'll support them in that just kind of navigating where they'll go from here. And then also we use this main house for a variety of purposes. We put on events such as cooking classes, uh, other educational classes, uh, budgeting, anything that we think is it could be benefit our residents. Everyone that lives here, they're part of our community, but more so they're also part of NACE. And to be a part of NACE is such a vibrant city, it is a privilege for us. We see where is every individual at? What is it that they want to do? What is it that they're struggling with? And we try to connect with them and then give them this transitional period in their lives that they can explore, they can go out in the world and make mistakes and hopefully learn from those mistakes. We give them an environment that is forgiving and encouraging and that allows them to, to try and develop themselves. We are here to stay and for many, many years, for decades, we're gonna continue to do what we do and we're gonna impact people and we're gonna allow them to make a positive change in their lives and to contribute to the society. Our ultimate goal for each individual who comes through here is that they would have had the opportunity to learn and develop as a person and ultimately move on. When we can create small hubs like this, I think all that spills out in the world and, and it, it shows.